Hey there nerd squad and welcome back to another nerdy list. Far From Home is coming up quick. Are you as excited as we are? Cause we are pumped. Remember three months ago when I was so excited that I accidentally called Batman Spider-Man? Yeah, I've been ready for a while. In today's video we are going to be get geared up by talking about the top 10 Far From Home fan theories that just might be true. So buckle up because us Marvel fans have some pretty far out theories for this one. One that I was not expecting but has almost all but been confirmed is the Happy Hogan and Aunt May ship becoming reality. I mean, wow. Feel free to let me know your feels on that and these other theories in the comments below. Alright, let's get counting. Number 10, Miles Morales. I know what you are all about to say. Hasn't it been confirmed that Miles will not be in Far From Home? And yes, producer Eric Carroll has been reported as saying no when asked about the potential appearance of Miles Morales in the newest Spider Man film. However, did we not think that Far From Home was going to take place before Homecoming? Only to have Disney flip the script on us. They have misled us and lied to us before. After the success of Sony's Into the Spider Verse, I think the world has proven how very ready we are. Are for more Miles Morales. I'm hoping that Disney will have noticed this attention and may give us at least a glimpse of the character in the newest film. Loyal Miles fans have been pointing to the deleted scene from Homecoming wherein Aaron Davis, played by Donald Glover, appears to be talking to Miles on his phone. For those who don't know, Aaron Davis in the comics is Miles' uncle who ends up becoming the villain Prowler. Number 9, MJ Fury. Alright, so I had to acknowledge this. MJ is Nick Fury's daughter apparently. Despite not being a big believer of this myself, I have had a few friends bring it up during Far From Home discussions and so this theory is for all you believers. Fans have noticed a similarity in the way both Nick Fury and MJ dress, they share a color scheme, they both have a similar sense of humor as well, and some have even gone as far to acknowledge that at one point MJ's hair covers one of her eyes and fans are left thinking eye patch anyone? Another plot point that has been highlighted is that Nick Fury has mentioned he has a wife. His wife is mentioned in Winter Soldier when he is laying low at Cap's apartment. Her name? Sharon Hannah Imogen Emanuela Lara Davis. Her initials? Shield. More likely that this was Fury communicating in code during what was a suspected bugged conversation. Though I am skeptical about the connection between MJ and Fury, Disney has been known to try and breathe new life into the old comic book history that we feel we already know. And this could be another attempt to shake things up. Number 8, Norman Osborn. The moment we have all been waiting for, Norman Osborn making his grand entrance into the MCU. Many people are speculating that certain easter eggs are being left behind as a setup for Norman Osborn to enter the the MCU as the new big bad in the next phase of Marvel films. If you haven't kept up to speed on all the evidence we have been gathering, let me share a few points of interest. We still don't have a full origin story for Peter Parker. This mystery could be easily solved by the appearance of Osborn. Stark Towers was sold and purchased by a mystery buyer, who would be wealthy enough to buy the property. Not only that, but there is the mystery of the benefactor who wants to snatch up all of Hank Pym's tech and is willing to pay a billion dollars. All of these signs could be pointing to Osborn and his Oscorp. Combine that with the fact that Roger Wardwell, famed Marvel leaker, tweeted that Norman Osborn would be the new big bad in the next phase in tweets that were later deleted, and you have to me a pretty solid case for this theory becoming a reality. Number 7, Nick Fury is a Skrull. This fan theory, if proven true, could be a huge game changer for the franchise, as it could take us into secret invasion territory. But why would we even think this of Fury? A character well loved and often trusted by both heroes, colleagues, and fans alike. Coming out of the Captain Marvel film involving Skrulls, there were a few questions left unanswered which made fans suspicious of who Fury may really be. In Captain Marvel, Marvel, Fury tells Carol as proof that he is not a Skrull some obscure details about himself that Skrulls would normally struggle to create or know. He specifically confesses that he cannot eat bread if it is diagonally cut. Die Hard fans have referenced a scene in Age of Ultron where Fury can potentially be seen eating what appears to be very diagonally cut bread. Yeah, that's right, that's how intense you guys are. Akin to this, many fans have felt the change that we see in Fury from young agent to head of S.H.I.E.L.D. is so different that he must not be who he says he is. Character development aside, the point that has left me wondering the most was this last one. When the Skrulls land on Earth, 
in Captain Marvel. We see four of them. The science scroll is killed by Yon Rog, one dies in the car chase near the beginning, and Talos leaves the planet with his family. But where does the other one end up? Is it possible that this scroll stayed behind and became Fury in an attempt to infiltrate Earth's government and make it easier for scrolls to later invade the planet? Hmm. Number 6. Sinister 6. How long have we waited for this theory to pan out? What feels like forever, am I right? But with Far From Home within reach, it is possible that our wait could be almost over. In fact, someone claiming to work for Disney in animation under the cover of the username RoyG575 on Reddit leaked that the time for the Sinister 6 could be nigh. A Sinister 6 film could be a nice foil to DC Suicide Squad. I do love me some villain franchises after all. Roy G. 575 claims that Far From Home will have a mid credit scene and post credit scene and that the post credit scene will introduce the Sinister Six. The post on Reddit claims the six will be comprised of Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion, Chameleon, Mysterio and of course potential big bad Norman Osborn. Goodness, am I ready for this fan theory and leak to be true? Number 5. Mysterio is Peter Parker. Wait, what? Yep, you heard me right. One fan on Reddit, Chef the Killer, watched the clip that was released of Mysterio and Peter Parker's pep talk and theorized that it felt like Mysterio was Peter Parker, but perhaps from a different universe. Mysterio is coming into Far From Home claiming that the multiverse is real and he traveled here through a dimensional rift. If this is true, he could be an alternate Peter Parker who under different circumstances became Mysterio, but is still even perhaps a hero, like he claims. The talk they have does make it sound like Mysterio is giving a talk to his past self. And seeing Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal next to each other definitely makes me feel like Gyllenhaal could be cast as an older version of Holland's character, or vice versa. This theory is pretty out there, but is it weird that I kind of want it to be true? Number 4. Multiverse As I said, Mysterio's excuse for being here is that he came through an interdimensional rift, chasing elementals which have wreaked havoc on his own world and that he came here to stop them. If there is even a semblance of truth to this story, there is a good chance that this means the multiverse is real. Even better, if this fan theory is true and Far From Home confirms the existence of the multiverse, the possibility for Marvel films becomes Endless Gwenpool movie, anyone? While some are hesitant to believe that Marvel and Disney are headed down this route, they cannot deny the success of Into the Spider Verse, and some are hoping that Sony's success will persuade them to introduce the multiverse to the MCU. Fingers firmly crossed for this one. Number three, Nick Fury is the chameleon. I know, a lot of my fan theories revolve around Nick Fury. But what can I say, fans just seem to love Fury, and I definitely can't blame them. And apparently a lot of people are concerned about the way Fury appears to be behaving in the next Marvel film. One of the things that is greatly concerning everyone is how quickly Fury seems to trust Mysterio, especially considering how slow he is to trust like just about everyone else in the MCU. This is fans theorizing that Fury isn't himself at all, and maybe not even a Skrull, but instead one of Spidey's oldest villains, the Chameleon. Whether or not he'll be appearing in this film has yet to be confirmed, though Newman Akar is slated to play a character named Dimitri, which could be a potential reference to Dmitri Smirnyakov, Chameleon's civilian identity. Chameleon's appearance could also explain Fury's behavior and get us closer to the Sinister Six appearance we've all been dreaming of. Number two, Spider-Man Origins. We all know that Far From Home is the official end to this phase of the Marvel franchise. In it, we will be exploring what we are left with in the aftermath of Endgame. A lot of this will revolve around Spider-Man feeling the loss of Tony Stark and responsibility left him by Iron Man. And in this, it is rumored that a dark secret of Tony's will also be revealed. Some are speculating this secret will actually help diminish the possibility of Norman Osborn appearing as a huge Spider-Man villain and change Osborn's story should he show up. As some suspect the secret is that Stark Industries was the creator of the radioactive spider that granted Peter his abilities. I like this idea in and of the sense that it would add to Parker's feelings about Stark and how he viewed their relationship. Number 1. Venom Continuing along our train of thought with number 2, what if Stark's secret was something more diabolical, something more dangerous that may also lead Parker down a darker path for a while? We can, after all, already see from the clips and trailers released that Far From Home leaves Peter wrestling with his responsibilities and his desire to just be a normal kid. To add to that, I propose a theory that Stark might be hiding in his lab. His dark secret may involve a new suit for Parker, but one that ends up being created from everyone's favorite symbiote, 
Venom. The suits Peter Parker sports in the films could be dark enough in my mind that it could easily be a nod towards the presence of Venom. If this was a thing Marvel wanted to make happen, I would certainly watch it. Just maybe no emo hair and, and dancing for this one, please. So I actually wish this list had been longer as there were so many great fan theories that I couldn't even include all the ones that I wanted to share. Namely the idea that Robert Downey Jr. will forever live on as Iron Man in voiceover land. Which one of these fan theories are you most hoping to see? Or do you have another one that will blow my socks off even more? Feel free to share in the comments below. And while you are down there, don't forget to like and subscribe, maybe even give this list a share or you know follow us on all the social medias, I don't know, that would be cool. In the meantime, I'm Amanda McKnight saying thanks for watching and reminding you to stay nerdy YouTube.